This is a Lamborghini Huracan STO. This is the original air intake. This intake has no function. Now it's time for some engineering. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Speed Engineering. I am Zoran and I am Dennis. We are both uh, founders of Speed Engineering based in Germany. Today we want to show you a very special product or a very special project and besides our shop items we are also doing a lot of custom products, one-off productions and in this case we are, we are very happy that we are allowed to show you this project in detail because this is not very usual, it's not common uh, that we are allowed to show everything but uh, yeah, in this case, thanks a lot to our customer. Uh, what do we have here today? We have a Lamborghini Huracan SEO. Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Speed Engineering. Usually the video starts now, but uh, we've already recorded the complete video, we uploaded it to see finally that we have some issues with the sound. So we have to record it completely, so please don't be confused as you will see in pictures from the old video and I will comment on this video. Hope it's not too confusing, but let's start right now. So, in this case we want to show you a project from the idea, from the beginning, through the manufacturing and the assembly. Now, what is special about this project? First of all, we are allowed to show it. So, thanks to the customer in this case. And uh, I have to start like this. We have, besides our shop products, which you can find in our shop, obviously, we also do custom products. Custom products means that we are scanning, engineering, designing, calculating and manufacturing those products and in some cases, or most cases, it's a one-off production, according to the um, customs requirements. So, let's finally start. What do we have here? We have a Lamborghini Huracan STO, a quite rare car, and the customer is almost happy with the car. There is just one little thing. Maybe it's not that little, but there is a thing. The GT3 race car version of the Lamborghini Huracan, it has a scoop, or let me say, an intake on the roof like on the bonnet. And this is the intake which leads the air to the airbox. The street legal car also has this scoop on the roof but without any function. So let me explain this to you quite quick. There is a there is an air scoop or an air duct on the roof and a little shovel. So round about roughly 40% of the air gets redirected by a little shovel to the engine and it cools down the engine. The rest, like around about 60% of the air, comes in and doesn't go anywhere. And um, that's the point where the customer wants us to change it. So, now we have to find a way to get the air from the roof to the airbox to have an additional intake. Step one, the idea. So, let's redirect the air from the roof to the airbox. How do we do this? First of all, we would like not, not we wouldn't like, but we would need quite a long tube. We need the geometry of the air scoop on the, on the roof, we need a long tube, and we need a connection to the airbox. And the second point is, it shouldn't be too visible. Like if you see it from outside, it should not be very obvious that there is some kind of tube which is not OEM. So the second part is, we need an airbox because the original airbox has just its OEM intake on each side, but we need an additional intake for the extra air. So that means that we need at least the lower part of the airbox completely new. So what did we do? Uh, first of all, we scanned the complete engine bay. We scanned the both airboxes and we scanned the bonnet um, from the bottom. So in this case, this is our base and this is where we start. The second point is designing. 
um, we designed the long tube without interrupting the shuttle because the existing shuttle with its around about 40% of the air for the cooling of the engine will still exist. So we will use the geometry of the rest of the 60% and it has to fit plug and play. That's the first step. The second step of the designing is redesign the complete air boxes. Um, well, to be honest, not the complete air box, but the lower parts. And in this case, we have to say they are not mirrored. It's not a mirrored part, so the left air box is quite a different, has quite a different geometry than the right air box. Um, so complete redesign with all its original um, connection points and with its original air intake, which we will continue to use, plus two additional intakes to connect it to our new uh, intake long tube. Second of all, the air filter is mounted between the two parts of the air box, the upper part and the lower part. This means that we have to work very precise and we have to match the geometry 100% because we still want to use the original OEM filter. Another thing we should think of is that you saw on the original airbox there was a heat protection on the bottom of the airbox. Um, this is because the complete exhaust system is right below the lower part of the airbox. means that while we are designing it, we already have to think of how to manufacture it, what kind of material we should use, because it's getting quite hot there. And this is what we keep in mind for choosing the material afterwards. Okay, now we designed a new airbox that fits the upper OEM part. It fits the OEM filter and it has uh, a connection to the stock main intake, or intake on each side. Plus, it has two additional connections for the new intake from the bonnet. And on top it's heat resistant, or it has to be heat resistant. Plus, we designed a long tube, which is under the bonnet, fitting the geometry of the screw on the roof. So, and here we run into the next issue. How to connect those two elements. I mean, the long tube and the new airbox. Um, you have to imagine taking off the bonnet always requires two people. You can't take it off by yourself. It means that you take off the bonnet completely. And uh, in this case, there is no possibility to have a fixed connection between our, our new elements. So the connection has to be removable without screwing and uh, therefore use the flexible material called TPU. And uh, we simply printed it as an, as an adapter, like a funnel, for example. So between the two elements, we are using this funnel so you can close the bonnet and have a connection to the bonnet immediately as soon as you close it. You don't need to adapt anything, you don't need to screw anything, and you are not using hoses or clamps. So, not using much words, that's simply it. Um, what is quite satisfying is that you can feel it, like if you pull the throttle, um, you can feel the air being sucked in on the roof area and not only on the sides anymore. Um, so additional on the roof area. What is also, what I can tell you is very, very satisfying is like the feeling when you uh, mount everything for the first time and it fits perfectly. That's, I mean, talking as an engineer, the most satisfying feeling you can have. Um, the question you might also, the, the question that might also come up is how is it produced? It is kind of a printed carbon fiber. Um, and now don't be mad at me because I can't um, give you that much information about this. Because there is only one supplier in the world who is able to produce those items with the uh, specifications of carbon fiber and producing it without any tools. Um, this supplier is located in the US. That means that all our items that you can see here Three, three of those, um, the two air boxes and the long tube, come from the US with uh, quite a short delivery time and he is usually supplying the Formula 1 and some, I think some, some race teams in the US. And uh, the next question that might come up, which is also very important, of course, for every one of us, do we have more power? Officially, no. Why? Because uh, we are located in Germany, the car has a registry in Germany, and therefore, officially, the car does not have more power because otherwise we would have we would run into problems or our customer would run into problems. Unofficially, definitely, yes, we have a higher air volume and if you would put the car on the dyno and map it, um, we guarantee that you will have more horsepower. So, 
if there are any further questions, please write in the comments. And uh, also, what is always quite in, quite interesting for us, if we do have an English-speaking audience, which we have now, which is growing. Um, so if you are new and you are uh, not from Germany, also please just write us comments, say hi, say where you're from. We are very interested in this. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the next video. Thanks. Bye.